Hey guys, I want to do a deck tech on one of the decks that has really been growing on me, and I never really see this deck around. Uh, it's red-green, and it has a neat little trick where it just completely takes over your opponent's creatures. Uh, I'm just going to start off here with the mana base. I got four Evolving Wilds, seven Forests, five Mountains, and four Rugged Highlands. I have... Um, Let's go over the creatures first. The All my creatures have Death Touch in some fashion. So we'll start off with this guy. He is a 1-drop one 1-1 one, one lizard. As long as I have a green permanent, he has Death Touch. And I almost always have a green permanent. I have many, many in the deck. Next creature is a 1-drop one 1-1 one, one scorpion here with Death Touch. Next creature is Ambush Viper. He's a 2-drop, two 2-1 two with Death Touch, but he also has Flash. This is pretty good against stuff like Angler, um, Olamox Crusher, Devastator, things of that nature. We also have Deadly Recluse. It's a 2-drop, 1-2 one two with Death Touch. This one also has Reach. This is really good against Delver, Skyfisher as well. Uh, now we have this guy. He's a 2-drop, two 2-1 two with Death Touch and Reach. Kind of very similar to the Recluse, except their uh, stats are backwards. He's a 2-1. Next we have some enchantments. We have uh, Fire Whip. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature can tap to deal 1 damage to target creature or player. Or you can sacrifice Fire Whip to deal 1 damage to target creature or player. So... If, say, for example, we have this on one of our creatures and they go to use a removal spell on one of our creatures, we can ping our opponent or one of our opponent's creatures and then we can sacrifice Fire Whip to deal one damage. Mm -hmm. So it's strictly better, though, close to this next enchantment, which is Power of Fire. It's a two-drop enchantment and it allows my creatures to tap to deal one damage to our creature or player. Also... Uh, this isn't an enchantment, but it's an artifact, and it's pretty close. It's a one-drop, three to equip, target creature can deal one damage to target creature or player. So if you haven't figured it out already, I'll go ahead and tell you about it. When a creature with Death Touch deals damage to another creature, you destroy that target creature. So if I tap to deal one damage to any creature that's not indestructible, it kills it. So I can tap ping, kill, Olmox Crusher in just one hit before it even attacks. Mm -hmm. It's very strong, very good against creature-based decks. If your opponent plays creatures, you're in good shape. Mm -hmm. Also, we have Communus the Gods. It's two mana, sorcery. Look at the top five cards to get a creature or an enchantment, put it into your hand. This is extremely good in this deck because we have so many enchantments, so many creatures, mm -hmm. And the last enchantment is just a mana fix. It's Abundant Growth. It's a green permanent for my lizard. Draws me a card. Fixes my color. It's very solid solid in this deck. On to the sideboard. We have Stone Rain. We don't have Molten Rain because Molten Rain's red-red. And it it's, uh, makes it a little more harder to cast. I don't think the two damage is worth Molten Rain. This is pretty much for Tron. Things of that nature. Uh, we have Nature's Claim, Destroy, Target, Artifact, or Enchantment, Gain for Life. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory what you use this for. Something you may not uh, notice at first. This can be used on us if we're playing against Burn, which is one of our worst matchups. I'll get to that later. Uh, this can help us heal against Burn and open the game up for us to win. Uh, we also have Vines of Basswood. This is good against people that are playing a lot of removal spells. Uh, this deck is very easily two for one because I can go to cast my enchantment and my opponent remove my creature in response or he just removes my creature later. So having vines is very useful for that. Also, Pulse of Marasa is good um, because it helps us prolong the game for us to build our team. It's also good against Burn, which is one of our worst matchups. Uh, this allows us to get a creature or land from the graveyard, put it to our hand, we gain 6 life. It can hit Evolving Wilds, but it's almost always just going to hit a creature. This is also really good in um, removal-heavy decks like black or blue-black, things like that. So, as I said, if your opponent is playing creatures, you're in really good shape. If he's playing a deck that doesn't involve creatures, then you're in trouble. 
Um, so my worst matchups is Burn and Hexproof. Against Burn, I'm okay. I have decent uh, strategy against Burn. I can bring in the Pulse of Marasa, which usually alone really, really helps. Also, the Nature's Claim is pretty good, too. Nature's Claim, um, I can use this on mine enchantments, you know, and gain life, and that that's awesome. But I can also use it against Curse of the Pierce Heart, because it's an enchantment. So it's not completely dead, dead against my opponent. Now, against Hexproof, that's a different story. I have yet to really... Uh, solve the problem of Hexproof with this deck. I can't really... I, I can't destroy their creatures. I can't really race them because I'm not near as fast as Hexproof. So, I'm I'm just not sure what I can do against it. And it, please, comment below if you know of something I can do in this deck to help me against Hexproof. Luckily, I don't think I've ran into it yet. Now... I do have creatures with Death Touch. I can block my opponent's creatures and kill them that way. But my opponent's not just going to attack into a Death Touch creature. They're either going to have First Strike or they're they're going to wait for, for some... They're essentially just going to wait for First Strike, you know? Um, I mean, they have the time to do it because this deck is kind of slow. It can be fast. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this deck. I really do. Look in my past videos... Watch this deck in action. It's really neat. There's actually quite a bit of versions that you can do. There's um, there's also red-black. Because there's a lot of black creatures that are one-drops that have Death Touch. Um, like Typhoid Rats, things like that. I think I probably do have another version of this coming at some point in the future of my YouTube channel. I have a whole lot on my plate right now, so... Uh, keep an eye on that, though, in the future. I may do, like, a red, green, black version. That would be kind of cool. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See ya!